Hello and welcome students to today's video lecture on how information and communication technology ICT is impacting education in the present. In this rapidly evolving digital age, technology is reshaping the way we teach and learn. And over the next five minutes, we'll explore the various ways in which ICT is transforming education. Let's start by discussing the digital transformation in education. The integration of ICT tools and resources has revolutionized the classroom experience. We have seen traditional chalkboards being replaced by interactive whiteboards and digital textbooks. And currently we've seen teachers and students have more access to a vast amount of information at their fingertips. Students and teachers can use computers and laptops, can use tablets and smartphones, and they can also use word processors and open educational resources. One of the most significant impacts of ICT education is the accessibility of information. Certainly with the internet, students can access a wide range of educational resources from research articles and ebooks to educational videos and online courses. This easy access of information has made learning more flexible and convenient. Students and teachers alike can use digital libraries and archives. There's online learning platforms and also there's open resource educational resources ICT has also enabled personalized learning experiences there's adaptive learning platforms and intelligent tutoring systems which use data analytics to tailor lessons to individual student needs We've seen that this has allowed students to learn at their own pace and receive targeted support when they need it most. Also in personalized learning, there's flexible learning environment where a student can learn at their own pace, at their own time. Also, we see that in personalized learning, there's personal learning network where students can interact with other students globally. Online learning has certainly gained tremendous popularity, especially in recent times when we've had the COVID-19 pandemic, which has accelerated the adoption of remote learning. And we see that it's likely to remain a significant part of education. Online courses and virtual classrooms offer flexibility and convenience, making education accessible to a global audience. Students can use their mobile phones to learn at whatever point, whatever place they are found in. And also we have massive open online courses which offer courses from universities and institutions all around the world. Collaboration and communication. ICT has certainly transformed how students collaborate and communicate. Tools like video conferencing, instant messaging, and collaborative platforms have made it easier for students to work together on projects, even if they are millions apart. This does foster teamwork and cross-cultural interactions. Students are able to collaborate, say in editing a document, as they are stationed in various places in the world. And also there's virtual classrooms and tools such as Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and Google Meet would enable online classes. 
It would allow for discussions and also real-term interactions, bridging the distance in remote learning scenarios. ICT has its own challenges. While it has numerous benefits, it also comes with its own challenges. The digital divide remains a significant issue with some students lacking access to the necessary technology and internet connectivity. Additionally, ensuring data privacy and cybersecurity in education is of paramount importance. So some of the challenges would include power or unreliable power, maintenance, the true cost of the devices, connectivity, space wireless access, and the environment in which the student might be found in. In conclusion, information and communication technology has had a profound impact on education in the present. It has certainly transformed how we access information, how we learn, how we collaborate, and how we communicate. While it presents challenges, it also offers immense opportunities for enhancing the quality and accessibility of education. As you continue your education journey, remember to embrace the benefits of ICT and develop the digital skills necessary for the success in the 21st century. Thank you for joining me in this video lecture, and I wish you all the best in your pursuit of knowledge and learning in this digital age. Thank you very much.